You all right? Yeah, I just fell off and hit my back and I got winded. He actually started looking a bit fresher, didn't he, over that, yes. over the first one. Is that why? Because he, he kind of kinked his head to the left. Yeah. Coming in here. Yeah. I've fallen off multiple times, but I've only had a couple good crashes. That was a fairly mild crash. So after that, we went and grabbed a bit for him so I'd have a little bit more control over him. But I, I wouldn't pick him to do that. No, well, I think he's feeling good, which is, you know, if there's a positive out of it, it is that he is feeling good. But, but, but we want to, we don't want him feeling that good. No. You'll be able to stop him in your, in this bit. Yeah. And so you should feel more confident to just kind of move, which I know you did feel confident in the snaffle, but, um, you know, clearly there was a reason he arrived with this bit um, from his last owner. It's important to get back on your horse so then they know that that's not what they're meant to do, that they're meant to not buck. Yeah, if Lightning was the boss, then we wouldn't really go around a course. We'd just kind of sit there and eat grass. Right, and then go for a canter. Go for a canter when he has a little play. And use your gears again. Send him forward and bring him back. So, Pohanoi, I'm just doing the Riders Challenge just to start getting into the feeling of eventing. The Riders Challenge is basically a mix between cross-country fences and show jumping fences, and they're all mixed into a larger than a show jumping ring, but not quite as big as a cross-country course. Good girl, Macam. Good girl. I'm Molly, and I'm 15 years old. I live in a hoka near Christchurch. So this is Mackin, and um, we have been competing this season at Two Star, and we've been going really well so far. We won the South Island three-day event championships. So Mackin is a 14-year-old mare, and I don't own Mackin. Holly McDonald owns Mackin, and Holly has gone to university, and so I've been really lucky to give the ride on her. Mackin. In the Junior Rider Series right now, I'm actually in the lead, which is really good. Um, but there's still a lot of shows to come, so <laughs> I'm not getting my hopes up yet. Today, we are going to go to McLean's Island and do some cross country. He's doing it's more for me just to get my eye in and practice the jumps, because I'll be out of practice. <laughs> Hey, Millie. Good girl. Woo. What we do normally is like, we'll all just go cross country schooling, which is really fun because there's lots of us and we just kind of break off into groups and it's quite social, so I really like it. There's lots of little jumps you can do, but if you want to test yourself a bit more, there's some really good jumps out there. OK, this is a palisade. And why it's, like, tricky on a cross-country course is because it's got, like, a little bit of a ditch here, and lots of the horses are quite spooky at it. So with the first jump, the white one, um, for the horses, I guess it'll be a bit harder because it's, like, white and it's not as easy for them um, to focus on. Oh, that was way too weak. And then to the second one, it's like a bit skinny. Far out, I'm feeling a bit out of practice right now. Oh, that was way too long. I wasn't quite straight into that one. So we know I'm coming into the jump. Um, I haven't quite got the canter, so that's why I just decide to pull out. The next time I come in, um, I have my canter and I'm going forward and it jumps way better. I haven't actually done cross country in a couple months, so it was definitely a bit of a shock for me today because I didn't have my eye in and I was just not ready for it. I definitely felt bad a couple times.
I'm not using my saddle blanket. Huh? You're not using my saddle blanket. I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Not yours. I'm Will. I live on Puyakoe. I've got three younger brothers. Two of them ride, and the other one's just into motorbikes. This is my horse, Merlo. This is the same. <laughs> he's 16 one hand, and he's a full thoroughbred. Had about six months now. So I'm riding with my younger brother, Monty, who's on his little wee pony. Today, we're going to do a little bit of fitness up and down the hill. Yeah, it's quite competitive. It's always bragging rights after who's got the fastest horse. Hey, he's going to start from there. I want to start from here. Three, two, one, go! It's going to work. Oh, the ditch. One. Monty gets a bit of a head start because, I guess, he doesn't want to lose. He just... And he saves his horses, slocks, it's got shorter legs, but it just makes up excuses every time, pretty much. I bet him! For the race today, I think I, I probably would have won it if he didn't, you know, go out the side and stop halfway, or if he could actually make it to the top of the hill instead of stopping and saying, I don't want to go up there. <laughs> he did. <laughs> It's probably on their microphones. They could probably find it. I was looking at doing the Purnui one star in a few weeks, but since it's sitting trot and my horse isn't bulky enough, I don't think we'll be able to do it. So me and Monty are both going to do the Riders Challenge. So my name's John Smythe, I'm 16. So I work at Pike Racing Stables. At the moment at work, we've got about 80 to 90-ish horses there, so it's quite busy. We've got staff on, like, mucking out, staff for saddling, staff for, like, getting horses on and off the walker, and there's staff in the wash bay, so... There's stuff everywhere. Horses are a very important part of my life. I'm around them 24 7. This is Brown. He's a 13 year old gelding uh, preparing for Pua Nui. I'm going to do the one star there. What's he doing? Smiling. <laughs> There's Mum's obsessive collection of bits. That's from over the years. When I started riding, I was probably about 18 months old. <laughs> yeah, I was doing lead rein up until I was about five, and then I went on to, like, off the lead, and then show hunter, then show jumping, now venting. Brown has to be my favourite. <laughs> He's pretty cool. I had him for about three years now. And I started off doing 80 centimetres of venting on him, and we've moved up to two star slowly throughout the years. But Pune, I've dropped Brown back to the one star because of his injury he had at the start of the season. One star and two star refer to the level of competition. The higher the number, the bigger the jumps, and the more difficult the dressage test. I'm so small. It's like a pony to ride. It's time to hit the road for the next event, but some of us have a longer trip than others. Mosgiel is near the bottom of the South Island. So my next event is Poonui, and that's up north. Truck is packed. Our first trip on the truck, and the truck, the truck is full. <laughs> Poonui's three days, three huge days, and a ferry crossing to get to Auckland. OK, so we're just coming along the Kaikoura coast. So at Pilanui this year, it's actually the Junior Rider Champs, which is kind of like the big championships, the main show everyone will be going for. The 
first day we drove all the way to Blenheim, so the whole length of the South Island. We'll stop every like two and a half hours to let them off kind of thing. We stop at a racetrack in Timaru, which is halfway to Christchurch, and then we'll stop in Christchurch. And Blenheim, stay the night at a racetrack there as well. And then the next morning we'll cross the ferry. We've just stopped off at the Marlborough Racecourse just to walk them for a while. And then we'll be getting on the ferry. On the way to Wellington. The horses are normally really good on the ferries. Like, I don't think Macken will be phased by it. I'm sure she's done it before. They just hang out in the float. You check them afterwards and they're happy as. And drive to past Wellington. Um, I'm not very good with like place names in the north. I haven't spent enough time there. It's really embarrassing. Somewhere <laughs> above Wellington, I think. Everywhere's above Wellington. Here is Blaze. So it ended up being a beautiful morning in the Wairua River. The competition, I feel, will be a lot more competitive up there because I haven't actually competed against all those North Islanders. Made it! It was a long three days. Let's hope it was worth it. Thanks for a fun ride, NZ, on you. <laughs>